today because it's the first video that I'm doing that's dedicated to wedding planning. I feel like that's even like crazy to say even though we've actually been engaged for the past eight months and we don't really have an actual like wedding date or venue or anything solidified. So I thought it was perfect to get started on a wedding planning series. Honestly, I feel like if I have this series, one, I'll feel super motivated and inspired to actually get the ball rolling with wedding planning, but also it might be helpful for anybody who is also engaged and isn't gonna have a wedding planner. I am gonna have a day of coordinator, but I'm not gonna have a wedding planner, but I am gonna go off of one of my best friend's videos, Lauren Doan. She posted this and she did a wedding series on her channel. I've literally watched the video like three times across the process of me being engaged. So that's what we're gonna do. If you don't know what video I'm referencing, I'm gonna link it down below, but if you have watched the video, then you definitely know what this is. I went to Target and I got this poster board. I got these pens. I got these felt markers. And then I also got these yellow post-it notes. And we're gonna do an entire wedding board. I'm very excited because I'm such a visual person. And I also wanna print out some inspo, like different photos that I want to like base our decor off of, some venue inspo, that sort of thing. I'm gonna move everything over to our dining table because that's where I'm gonna actually make the board, so I'm move you guys. Like this is the best spot to do it. Okay, I'm gonna get started with actually like creating the board. I'm gonna use these sticky notes as things that we have to get done, which I already have my wedding dress. I actually got my wedding dress in February, so it's been eight months since I had it. That's kind of what got the ball started on wanting to do this video because I reached out to my wedding dress boutique, it's called The Dress Theory in San Diego, and I asked them if it was ready, if it had come in, they were like, we were just about to email you, the shop just opened and it came in this morning. And it's kind of funny because that day I was actually scrolling on TikTok in the morning and I found this wedding venue that I had originally seen when I first started wedding planning, but when I first saw it, I just thought it was gonna be like completely out of budget. But the longer I've been wedding planning, the more I understand that there is kind of like a baseline that you're gonna pay for a wedding. And this venue is in that budget. So we definitely have had to adjust our budget, which has honestly been the most like, I guess you could say frustrating part about the whole thing. Don't let that deter you because you could definitely do whatever budget that you're looking for. I feel like there's ways that we could save that we're not choosing to. Like obviously you don't have to do flowers, go to a specific wedding dress designer. So I don't want to like come off and say like, oh, this is exactly what you have to pay for a wedding. But for what we're looking for, and even we do have a very small guest list, like I'm we have like a 45 person guest list. We want it to be a very intimate wedding and we do want to save money on the wedding. Like we don't want to spend a huge, huge amount, but we're definitely going to spend more than we originally thought is my point. So when I saw a TikTok earlier this week of this wedding venue that I originally saw when we first became engaged, I was like, oh my gosh, I completely forgot about this one. And it is within our budget now. So I reached out to them and asked some certain questions. I showed it to Hunter, Hunter was obsessed with it. I showed it to my family, they were obsessed with it. It's in the perfect location because it's obviously in Orange County where we just obviously love. And so that day I decided to reach out to the wedding dress boutique that I got my dress at, asked them if my wedding dress had come in and they said it literally came in that morning they were just about to reach out to me. And I just feel like that it's a sign that that wedding venue is gonna work out. I don't know why, it just like gave me more hope. I'm not gonna let it like deter me from wedding planning again because I feel like we've just like pushed it off because so much goes into the wedding venue process and everything. But once we have a wedding venue and a date, I feel like this stuff is gonna be like way easier. So anyway, I'm gonna start with the sticky note that says wedding dress because I already have that. Which way should I do it? We're gonna do it down landscape wise. So I'm gonna write the first one and it's gonna be wedding wardrobe for me. And then we'll do a wedding wardrobe for Hunter as well. Okay, we're in my bathroom, I'm about to get ready for my day. I thought we could chat about something that I feel like I do get asked frequently about. Obviously, if you guys aren't new, you know, 
I'm a part of the fitness industry. I have my CPT, which means that I'm a certified personal trainer. I don't physically train anybody in person, but you guys just know it's a huge passion of mine to work out and have that huge part of my life. And I feel like there is definitely a huge online presence of like wedding plans and things to do before your wedding and how many months in advance, blah, 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 you're supposed to start. And just like a lot of talk about almost like changing yourself for your wedding and like, I don't think that I have any type of place to say anything for anybody else. I just wanna say that at the very beginning, do whatever makes you happy, do whatever you think is best for you. And I also don't know everything. So if I say something for myself that doesn't relate to you, then that's completely fine. We're gonna have different opinions. I have mentioned before like, oh, like I wonder if I should do some sort of like, almost like PDF file, like seminar. I don't even know what to call it. Relating to feeling your best on your wedding day and like most confident. And I feel like that's the word that I like to use when I talk about my wedding day. Like I definitely want to feel confident on my wedding day and I want to feel mentally clear. I want to feel like I'm in a really good place mentally with stress. And I mean, honestly, I feel like wedding planning is a very, very stressful part of your life. And it's also very busy. I feel like when we enter a really busy season of life, that's when sometimes wellness goals and things like that can fall behind. But most of the time, those wellness things that can fall behind because we're so busy with other things are the things that make us feel really good and are the things that make us feel really confident. So I like to think of it in that way that that whole season of life, it's not even about the specific wedding day. It's almost just like how to balance something stressful, something that's a really big time grabber in your life, but also have those wellness moments on top of it. And you guys know for me, fitness and wellness and feeling good has nothing to do with body image, has nothing to do with fitting into a certain size, looking a certain way. Like I already have my wedding dress. I went on a random day, had them measure me for my measurements and I didn't put any thought in that. Like there's no, tie to how I want to look that day, especially in terms of body image. Like I have worked so hard in my life, not only by myself, but also with Hunter, like on just loving myself how I am and not feeling like I have to change myself. And I'm so proud of the part of life that I'm in and the amount of love that I have for myself. And I have zero want to change how I look. And I know Hunter has zero want for that. Uh, which is a really good feeling. So for me, it is about maintaining the level of confidence that I have because I know that that's what makes me feel my best. And it's not about feeling the absolute best possible that I could ever feel like I miss workouts all the time, I sleep in all the time. But if you are looking for that motivation in a very realistic way, then that's what you're gonna get on my channel. And I might do, do some sort of PDF guide or newsletter. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but I'm just all for like putting stuff out there on the internet. I think the best form of help that we can give each other, especially online, is like support and finding creators that you relate to that are in a similar season of life as you or have a similar mindset. So that's why I love doing what I do online. But anyway, I'm gonna finish up getting ready. Enough of talking about like the wellness side. Um, I wanna show you guys the project I just finished. I just got dressed and I figured for the sake of the video I'd wear a white dress. And this is actually one of my favorite white dresses that I recently got. It's from Princess Polly. It's pretty affordable and I feel like it's perfect for bridal season because it's dressy but it's actually so comfortable. And I just feel like it's the perfect shape. I love it. I think it'd be cute for like an engagement party, bridal shower, or even just like on your bachelorette. I'm going to pick out wedding rings. I just think it's really cute. So I will link this down below. Like I said, it's from Princess Polly. Good price point. But I want to show you guys the finished product of, I don't know what to call this, the wedding planning sign that I made. I'm going to go through every single post-it and show you guys exactly what I put. This is everything I have to get done. And I actually feel really good about it because I feel like the things that are left, I've already thought about. Since like I said, we've been engaged for eight months now and Hunter and I have done so many like dates where we've looked at wedding inspo, we've thought about the guest list. It's just about like booking it with the vendors. So we actually have a really good idea of what we want for our wedding, which I think is really helpful. So before you do any of this stuff and like actually pick your vendors, I would definitely say go on Pinterest and make it fun, like either go to a cafe and wedding plan or we'll just like do it on a Saturday morning and both sit on the computer and you just want it to also, yes, I feel like a lot of the decor and things like that could possibly land more on me, specifically in my and Hunter's relationship because that's what I genuinely love. Like I literally 
create vibes and aesthetics for a job. So of course it's gonna be something that I really wanna partake in. He always says he likes to have options, like two things and then he'll pick the final decision sort of thing for like aesthetics. So let's start over on this category. I put, I'm gonna actually grab a light. So it's kind of brighter in here. I hope that got a little bit brighter. But starting in this category, I put styling. So we have the wedding wardrobe and then under that, I put a K or an H depending on whose sticky note it is. So for mine, I have wedding dress checked off because obviously I have my wedding dress. And then under that, I still need to get my second dress. I do have my rehearsal dinner dress and then the morning of outfit. So I'll probably get ready in like a robe or PJs or something. So I put that on there. And then for Hunter, we have to get his wedding tux. He already has a dark suit and a light suit. So he is probably set for like the rehearsal welcome dinner suit situation. So I put a check mark on that one. We both have to pick out our wedding bands. And then I actually have to get all my wedding day accessories. And I also want to get my veil. I want to actually be styled for that because I'm not really like an accessory person. I'm still contemplating if I want to go no jewelry. That's also very me. Um, but I also love like something really elegant like pearls or statement jewelry of some sort. I've talked with some of my friends who are really good at styling that so that they would help me. So I'm excited for that part, but that's like definitely closer to the bottom because those things aren't dire. Then we have our vendor category. For vendors, I put catering and rentals. Under that, I put like wedding cake and then actually going and doing the tasting. So those are two boxes. Then I have photo and video. And then I also put a box for like any inspo that I could send to my photographers and videographers. Then I said we need to get a florist. I have to hire a makeup artist, hair artist. I've already decided that I don't want to do my own hair and makeup. It's really hard for me to like talk at the same time as doing my own makeup. I always will like skip steps and that's just not something I want to worry about on my wedding day and I want to feel like pampered on my wedding day. So that's one thing. I'll obviously have to do like a makeup trial, hair trial. We need to get a DJ. Then we have decor. I want a bunch of hurricane glasses and candlesticks, so I put that. And then we also need to get our signage. So I put an unplugged sign. We've already talked about it. We definitely want an unplugged ceremony. We are gonna put disposable cameras everywhere, which I think is super fun. I've been to weddings where they do disposables and it just creates a really fun vibe. It makes everybody take a second to be present. And I feel like with what I do with social media, so much of it is like content and I just think it's like so fun and special to take a night off of work. I think that it just creates a really fun vibe. And then even if people are taking photos on disposables, I think it's cute to like have people in the background like taking photos with a disposable rather than in other photos like wedding photos and the other disposable photos to have people like with their iPhones and stuff like that. I just feel like I want it to feel I don't know. I just don't want it to feel like that. So we're going to do an unplugged sign. Then we also are going to print out our menus. Then we have the bar menu sign, table number signs, seating chart sign. So that's all the signage. And then the next category is bridesmaids. I've already chosen my bridesmaids, but I haven't asked them. And then same with Hunter with his groomsmen. So I put ask bridesmaids and groomsmen. Obviously we'll film that for YouTube. And then another thing for both of us is picking out what they're gonna wear. So the attire of the groomsmen's and the bridesmaids. Then we have our bachelorette trip. So we need to pick a date, book our stay, plan the themes for every night. That's more for me. Obviously I don't think Hunter's gonna do themes and then make reservations for those. So I already have an idea of where I wanna do my bachelorette. So I just need to like coordinate with all my girls and stuff like that. And then also like any type of gift that Hunter wants to do for groomsmen. I didn't put that on here cause I don't really know what he wants to do. But for me, I put buy robes for the girls because Lily did that for us. And I thought robes was such a nice way to get ready. I also like the vibe of robes, like in all the photos. I think it's just like really elegant. And I feel like with PJs for me specifically, someone who is very particular about fit of things. If someone else were to pick out a PJ set for me, if it was like really short shorts or something like that, I feel like I would just kind of be uncomfortable. And I don't know all my bridesmaids preferences and I feel like it would be hard to find one thing that everybody preferences. So I just feel like a robe is like, who doesn't love a robe, you know? So I'd have to get those. Then we have our honeymoon category. We need to book our hotel, we have to book our flights, book our reservations for all the restaurants, and then I need to get all my honeymoon outfits and then Hunter needs to get his honeymoon outfits too. We're gonna honeymoon in Kauai. We've always wanted to do that. It's been at the very top of our bucket list. We already know the hotel we wanna go to. We pretty much like have romanticized and planned that entire trip, which is so funny because we don't even have our wedding plan. But week of, I put write vows, notes to family slash each other to read the morning of the wedding. We're not gonna see each other at all before walking down the aisle. We're not gonna do a first look. 
and we're not gonna sleep together in the same bed that night and we're also not gonna go on a walk in the morning. I feel like it's just kind of exciting to keep from each other all day because we never do that. Like we are literally together 24 seven, talking 24 seven. So it kind of just like builds up the moment. And my dad has specifically said that the best moment of his entire life was when my mom walked down the aisle. And not that first looks aren't special, I know what they are. I just feel like knowing Hunter and I like we don't really do like a lot of photo shoots together and things like that like we don't prefer to so i feel like if we did do a first look and there's just like cameras on us and it feels like a moment where we have to like react a certain way that to me is kind of like nerve-wracking for me and hunter but the walking down the aisle it's like there's so many other things going on but i'm not saying that they're like i genuinely love first look videos first look moments like they're just as special, seriously, we've considered it. We've just ultimately decided it's less awkward for us to see each other walking down the aisle and more special for us than the first look. But we were definitely considering it. So anyway, Create the Seating Chart is the next one and also the song list. Hunter and I are huge music people, so I feel like the song list is so important and we need to find a DJ who understands that for us. So that's probably gonna be like the hardest part. I genuinely think is finding a good DJ. Then I have a hair appointment for the week of and then nail appointment the week of. We'll have to do that. And then pack your wedding bags and your luggage. We're gonna leave for our honeymoon right after our wedding probably. If not, maybe like a week after or something like that. So maybe we will pack our bags for that as well just so we don't have to worry about it in between. And then <laughs> this is like literally the exact same board that Lauren did but just with different things on the sticky notes. But she put a priority list at the bottom. I thought that was really smart. So our priority list is to make a final guest list. We need to know the exact head count. We've done this like five times, but like we need to be like for sure hard finalists. I don't think we'll be like adding anybody to the list. Then we have pick a venue, pick a date, and then make our wedding website and send invites. We're not gonna do save the dates. I genuinely think that save the dates are just a waste of money because I can text people and let them know the date and let them know that the wedding invite's coming in the mail and that's what the wedding website is also gonna have. Plus it's gonna probably look the exact same because we have our engagement photos that we took. That's another thing that you might wanna put on this board if you haven't done engagement photos yet and you're watching this video, but we already did those like literally the month that we got engaged. Our friend Dion shot them and the photos are unreal. I do wanna print those and put them in our house eventually. But anyway, that's the board. I'm so happy with it. I feel like this is gonna be so helpful and I'll just be able to ch check everything off as we go. Maybe I'll get like a sticker to put on the ones that are completely done. And then at the very end, I'll show you guys the board and it will be all done and everything will come to fruition. I'm so excited. So the last thing I wanna do is just add some info pics to it. So usually when I do some sort of like vision board, I'll print myself at CBS. But for right now, I'm gonna go make myself some lunch. I was getting so hungry when I was getting there. Even though this is like a wedding video, like I'm still gonna vlog my day during these wedding episodes because I feel like it'll just get too confusing to like hold on to this footage and like only post it when the whole video can be wedding content at the end of the day. I'm not that organized if I'm being honest and I just want to like get this video out. So I'm gonna make lunch with you guys. We actually have leftovers from last night. Josie, Hunter's sister came over and we had some dinner. We made cookies, we watched last week's episode of The Bachelor, it was Sunday night last night, and we made some pasta, so I'm gonna keep this up. Whenever we do pasta, we always make enough to have leftovers, and I would say out of any meal that I eat the leftovers the next day, this is my absolute favorite. Ever since I started using the Rayo's Arrabbiata pasta, I've been obsessed with spaghetti. I've put all of my friends onto it. It's just the best pasta sauce, and it's like, spicy but it's not too spicy and all my friends love it one of my favorite things to add to spaghetti is spaghetti squash i feel like it adds the perfect consistency and it's just been one of my favorite foods for literally my entire life oh another thing like wedding related would be wedding nails and i definitely want to try out a bunch of different combos i'm guessing i'm going to go with a french tip i always do a classic french tip with almond shaped nails it's my favorite thing in the entire world to do so I'll I'm 99% positive that that's what I'm gonna end up with. Honestly, yellow nails for a wedding look would be so, so pretty. There's only something on my nail, okay. Because to me, yellow is neutral and if I wasn't doing a French tip, I would definitely do yellow. This is my favorite nails I've ever had and I feel like it just like blends into any outfit. And yeah, I just think it's so pretty. It's something I personally would not get sick of, but. Some people are gonna think that's crazy. <laughs> okay, just finished up heating up both the noodles and the spaghetti squash. Also, if you were to meal prep this and bring it to an office, you can just mix it in together. 
they microwave the exact same time, so yeah. Okay, it's a little bit later. I mean, it's kind of been a while since last time I saw you. I did some work on my computer and now just pulled up my wedding slideshow. I feel like anytime I have some sort of project that I'm working on, having it all in a document where one, I can send it to other people and two, I can just like visually see everything is so helpful for me. Um, we have some screenshots of the inspo that I wanted to show. Our vibes are definitely gonna be like elegant, intimate, romantic, neutral vibes. I love the color yellow. Hunter loves color blue. I decided to start like looking at like different vendors and stuff like that in Orange County because I just feel like after we've talked about it, like every single time we talk about it, it always ends up like, let's just get married in Orange County. So even though we don't officially have a venue, I do think that even if it ends up being at my cousin's house who lives in Orange County, that's definitely like our final resort because we do feel like a backyard wedding would put a lot more stress on us, but it's definitely an option. So I feel like we just want to get going with the planning process. I have like a little slideshow for bachelorette outfits and just like all the options of wedding outfits that I found. This is fun for me because you guys know like a huge part of my job is fashion and I feel like putting together looks is just really fun. I have considered just linking this document, not like the obviously entire wedding planning document, but copying it and putting all of the like wedding looks that I found in the description box because even if I do go with the dresses, like I don't really care. Like I don't want to be secretive. I feel like a lot of people don't have the time to like search online for all of these white dresses and stuff. And because of my job, I do have the luxury of trying out a lot of different brands. And I just definitely know the ones that I really, really like that have like a smooth process of ordering that I haven't had any issues with ordering or like when I get pieces in and stuff like that. I'll link down below this document. I'm not a stylist or anyone. It's just gonna have all the pieces that I've been looking at for my wedding season, shoes, purses, just fun stuff. Obviously just if they were like, I would never buy everything on here. It's like a few things here and there. I just wanna see it all together. And then maybe I'll order a few things, try them on, return them, that sort of thing. But something else that I wanna do right now is try to find bridesmaid dresses that I like. I feel like that is nice to have right at the beginning because speaking from experience, I'm somebody that like, I like to have a heads up one and two, I procrastinate on ordering things. So like, if you tell me way in advance, it's so much better for me. So I'm gonna look, even that just kind of helps with the vibe of the wedding. Like if there's a specific colorway that we wanna go with, if we wanna keep it all neutral. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, here's some of my all-time favorite ones that I've seen on Pinterest. Love the champagne, I feel like that's so pretty. Love the all black, baby pink is really cute. Blue, this is like a different color blue that I've seen. It's like not technically teal, yellow, ice blue. I know that these are all very different vibes, but I absolutely love all of these. And I feel like it's kind of dependent on the venue. I keep saying that, but that's definitely like once we have that, all of this will be so much easier. But having a little plan and a slideshow like this that helps you go through and really look at all this stuff is gonna be really, really helpful. So I highly recommend doing this. The next slide that I'm gonna do right now is look for wedding band inspo, like the wedding ring that goes with your engagement ring because you get an engagement ring and then on the wedding day you obviously get an extra ring. I'm excited for that. So I'm gonna look at some fun different styles because I think I'm gonna go a little bit more unique just because my engagement ring is so simple. So that should be fun. I will literally just take a screenshot of something and then open the tab of my Google Doc and then slide that photo onto the screen. That's how I make all of my like slideshows. You can also do that on Canva. Canva's free and really good for like graphics like this. Okay, I screenshotted a few that I thought were unique and just so pretty. So you never know what we're gonna end up with. You obviously wanna go in and like try them on with your ring because you wanna commit to the one forever. So I thought those were really pretty. Okay, it's a little bit later and I just made myself some dinner. Hunter's working. Hunter's been working all day long, so he wasn't able to be in this video. He's eating his dinner in the office tonight. Unfortunately, I think this is probably the best recipe I've ever made. And it's like the one time I didn't actually vlog what I was making. <laughs> Coco. I think I'm gonna get this YouTube video up tonight. We'll probably watch The Bachelor tonight. So I will see you guys when Hunter finishes up his work for the day. Okay, it's the next morning. Good morning. I just wanted to end this video off. I didn't get a chance to say anything last night, 
But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Before we do go, I want to mention the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. I've been working with Squarespace for a couple of years because they're genuinely one of my favorite companies. Not only are they an online platform that helps you build, design, and create a website, but they're also very, very beginner friendly and you can also create a domain on there. I started my first website on Squarespace. I've sold a PDF guide on there. I've sold merch on there. And it's been such a useful platform, not only to link all my social channels, but to be able to see the back end. You can really deep dive and see how many people are clicking on your website site all the back end on the orders i always like to mention there was no issues on either one of my launches and also on top of it squarespace is super easy to make your own and you can go in and click a theme and then customize it from there so not only is it really easy because it's already mapped out for you but you can go in and change it and put all of your company colors if you guys are interested go to squarespace.com slash caitlin nolan you'll get a free trial and when you are ready to purchase a domain or website you'll get 10 percent off and i just want to say thank you so much squarespace for sponsoring today's video and i will see you guys next week bye